Welcome to your reading, Cancer. Cancer, today we are going to look at your current energy, what's going on in your life, and get some messages and advice from your guides related to uh, your current energy and situation. So this is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising, but I am setting the intention now that there is a message for everyone watching. And I call in the Ancestors, angels, guides of the highest vibrational frequency of cancer, please be with us today and provide the most meaningful messages for cancer at this time. Thank you for your clear and accurate messages. What is going on with cancer? First, we will pull the underlying energy. Heart of the reading. Past. Ooh. Present future, and then advice. Bottom of the deck we have Empress. I'll just make sure all of cards are in frame. So there might be some energy regarding your children or your mother or birthing some new project, but let's see. So Underlying energy, we have Eight of Pentacles reversed. Yeah, so for a lot of you, there may be some project that you want to bring forth, um, but with this reverse, it's not happening. Maybe you have this new idea, or you want to go for a new job, you want to start a small business, you just want to create something, um, but it's not happening right now. Maybe like you just haven't started, You're, there's some fear of starting, Maybe something didn't work out at first. Like maybe you had this new idea and you went for it, started a new job or started to um, make money doing your side business or something like that. And it seems like it's failing. Yeah. And then we have the three of pentacles reversed for our heart of the reading. There's something here about work not going to plan. Like something that makes you money. It could be a passion project or it could be a career, but things are just not going to plan. And I feel like your guides are trying to encourage you to keep moving forward and don't see like any mistakes or anything like that as um, a sign to end things, just to think of things differently. So you may have come up with this idea to either get yourself out of a bad situation or maybe you are trying to help others that have been in a bad situation but in the past we have here the six of swords which shows you moving into a brighter future which is great so i feel like things have started to look up but they've kind of like hit like some bumps in the road or maybe there's some stagnation going on it could also be um a relationship with someone you work with create art with, do something creative with, or work with in your career. Could maybe be a family business. Maybe there is some energy here about you wanting to help people in some way, maybe children specifically, but it doesn't have to be. But you wanna help people that maybe experience things similar to you. In the present, we have the high priestess reversed. So this is telling me that you're not really in tune with your intuition right now. Maybe you're blocking it out or you're not listening to it. Also, this could be that some things have come to light recently that were once hidden that um, could be making you feel down or just were shocking in some sense. But I really feel like your guides are trying to communicate with you um, through your intuition, through downloads, whatever um, way. And they're not getting through to you. So they're here right now in this reading to try and help you get out of whatever this like bump in the road seems to be regarding a creative project or work. And again, it could be a relationship for some people as well. But I'm really going to sense for a lot of people, if your energy is in this reading, that it has to do with something you want to do to help other people. Um, yeah, because there's something in the past that you moved out of, and I feel like you want to help other people that did similar, or your guides are calling you right now to consider that. And to consider maybe there have been some like uh, bumps in the road, some hiccups, whatever, some problems, some delays. And your guides are trying to like make you realize that these are 
part of your journey in order to move forward and to help other people who have been through this too and not to look at any mistakes or anything that's going wrong right now as a, like a failure and to look at it as a learning experience to move forward. For possible future, we have the Knight of Swords. So I feel like you are really going to move forward. I feel like there's some energy here of you writing out your goals, writing out what you want. Because I feel like your, your guides are like reading it and listening, but then they're trying to get you on the right path. There's some crystals here. Like, look, they're all just like watching. They're like, we're waiting for you to create this thing. There's something with creative energy here. There's something that you are meant to share with the world that you are, it looks like you are going to be sharing it with the world and your guides are really trying to help you. So it seems like the main advice right now is to try and get in touch with your intuition, your creative side. I feel like because something happened in the past that didn't work out very well, your creative, like, you know, you kind of like shut it off and your guys are like, no, no, don't let that, like whatever happened in the past, uh, stop you from moving forward in your creative pursuits or in your passions. It's okay. Like failure is inevitable. Like all the greatest greats in the world, like have failed majorly and had major life events that were not positive happened to them. And it helped them grow for like, you can look at any autobiography of any idol you have, and you can maybe get inspired by that. That could be something your guides are coming through to say right now, very specific, but, um, bumps in the road are like in things happening, not that seem like they're against you, but really are happening for you for learning experience. Um, to teach you things so you can really move forward and really appreciate the amazing things that are coming in the future. So a lot of you, like if you're feeling called to write or do anything creative, you're definitely um, moving forward in that. Your guides are gu trying to guide you to do so. Um, and then for advice, we have the four of wands reversed. For me, the party aspect of this is really sticking out. There might be some energy here like of telling you to maybe spend more time alone, like practicing your hobbies, practicing your skills, practicing um, like getting skill sets and like whatever it is related to this job or these goals you have and to spend time like working on that and maybe not being a social. It doesn't mean you have to go in total hermit mode, but I feel like it's, you're being called just to spend more time alone and work on things and it'll help gain clarity and writing things out will really gain clarity too in this sense. Um, and this is also making me think when I was talking about how there could be something with a family member, particularly like a child or a mother figure, doesn't necessarily have to be, but there could be something here about mending that relationship. Yeah, look at that. She's even putting that little like bandaid on there. Something about mending a relationship with a family member or whoever this could be um, for you specifically will really help move you forward in life. Um, you can even write them a letter. I feel like I said this in another group. I can't remember what sign. It was a few days ago before um, Thanksgiving little break I took. But um, you can write a letter out to someone that you have like these pent up feelings about or just unresolved issues um, and emotions. And you can write it out in a letter to them about exactly how you feel. And you don't have to send it to them. You can if you want to, but it'll be really therapeutic. And this also could be like communication in the future with this family member or whoever it is, someone close to you in the past that there's been some issue with. Um, communicating with them could really help mend your relationship and move you forward out of this potential slump or stagnation that you are in currently and move you back to happy times with them and really clear your intuition. This could be really like clouding your head, like making you just not be able to focus on your goals and dreams right now. And there could have been something recently that you found out about a family member or a friend or whoever, um, some information that came to light that really upset you. And that's why things aren't working out right now for you guys. Um, but communication with this person, I think will really help you move forward and clear your head, even if it's not direct communication and it's a letter. And even if you just keep it to yourself, that'll be really helpful. And don't be afraid to ask your guides for help. Look, they're like reading letters that you crumbled. They're like, oh wait, no, maybe you should say this. Or maybe it's just like, you're just writing and writing and writing and letting all your emotions out and what you think. And it's gonna help you gain so much clarity and really help you move forward. 
with or without this person, whatever it is you want, you know. Let's get final messages for Cancer. Final messages for Cancer. Yeah, we don't have any um, cups here, do we? And then we have the High Priestess reverse. There might be some pent-up emotions that need to really be worked through with this writing. Thing. That's like confirmation of that. Like the focus is on more logical stuff and you're being called to like do some introspection on this. Whatever it is. The only illusion of death is that it is an ending. Live as if your choices will always matter. Interesting. Let's get one more thought message for you to um, consider and journal about or think about whatever you feel called to do. But journaling really does seem like a good idea for you. Your superpower is your ability to choose what you tune into. So choose cre creatively now. Yeah. You're... Your guys are really making it clear like it's your choice to stay in this energy or to move forward and try pick yourself up and try again um, and go after what you want. If you want a relationship to mend to get better, then go for it, you know. Whatever your choices are, whatever you choose to do now is going to guide your future. And if you want to communicate with someone, if you want to apply for a job, if you want to Go after your dreams. It's your choice to take action to do so. So that is what I have for you, Cancer. I hope this resonated and was helpful. Um, please subscribe if you haven't already. If you feel called to do so, you can watch your other signs, your sun, moon, rising. And I, I do offer private readings. Information's in the description box if you are interested in that. But no matter what, I hope you're well. I love you so much. Bye, Cancer.